thank you very much for the interview, first of all. It's a pleasure to be here. Right. Um, within the end of your you know, final remarks, you actually said something about America and you said uh, Donald Trump is leading um, America towards a recession. Can I just ask you more about it? Because some economists you know, think we had the corrections, we have seen the lows. Some economists don't and they're still waiting for a correction. And you're talking about a recession. Can you just expand a little bit more on that? Yeah, I believe that what we're seeing with uh, the Trump administration is a very effective um, short-term uh, stimulus that came in terms of the massive tax cuts, uh, uh, the deregulation of the banking system of finance um, uh, and of uh, uh, environmental regulations is very important for the business community. Um, as a citizen, I fear that uh, by taking away the protections that Obama put in uh, for Dodd-Frank and other pieces of legislation that were meant to learn the lessons of the Lehman Brothers crash by dismantling all of those safety mechanisms and by blowing up the deficit and the debt by 1.5 trillion dollars with the new tax cuts. It's not just me, I've talked to friends at the Federal Reserve as well who are concerned about this. That that puts us on a glide path toward a, uh, another blow up, or either another uh, financial crisis or uh, a, a recession in about two or three years. Could it be a full-on recession, what you're talking about? It's hard to define full-on, full-on as in dreadful, as in heavy. As in something similar than what we saw, you know, in 2008, a crisis. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to see the collapse of another bank here. I think we're talking about building a bubble in real estate, building a bubble in finance, blowing up asset values. You know, the P ratios get up to 20, 30, and that's no longer sustainable over time. So what goes up also comes down. When does it come down in a way that should worry us? In my view, could be until 2020. Once Trump gets re-elected in 2020, the American economy should blow up. It's pretty different than there were some economists in Chernobyl Festival Economic Forum saying, such as Niall Ferguson saying, no, what we're witnessing right now is financial crisis in other markets, such as emerging markets, such as Turkey and Argentina, not so much in the US. It's still very strong. Emerging market crises come and go. I remember the big one of 1997-98. I covered it for the Financial Times at the time in Southeast Asia. The lessons from the IMF. Sure, there are emerging market problems, but the U.S. economy, trade, trade wars, protectionism, massive deregulation is a good short-term economic stimulus for short-term GDP growth. And if you're a cynical politician and you have no long-term concerns and your concerns are short-term, that's exactly the right thing to do. The problem is Wall Street, sooner or later, will remember that Isaac Newton was right about the laws of gravity. One question about Italy. You just said you gave a piece of advice to Italians and you said just go on notwithstanding your government. Are you optimistic, after all, that there will be a government after this one that will sort of come out with different measures or not so much? Italy is in a very dangerous moment. The government is following harebrained economic policies that have no chance of success. They're blowing up welfare spending, uh, buying votes for the May European elections, behaving irresponsibilities, irresponsibly, and generally following a collision course with um, uh, common sense, the European Commission, and the world economy and markets. If you insult ratings agencies and international institutional investors who have to buy your debt, 400 billion euros a year of Italian debt, and you keep insulting them, the least they'll do is make you pay a higher spread, and that's what's happening. So yeah, I think the Italian government will take a sort of recession, and uh, I, I think it'll all end badly. Should we fear it'll exit, or that's a bit too much? No, I'm not worried about uh, the Italians leaving the euro. I think their idea is to blow up the euro, try to uh, affect political change, and install um, a group of irresponsible leaders uh, like themselves who will try to let them get away with free spending policies. I don't think in the end this is going to end well. Thank you very much. Thank you.